A protocol allows researchers to overcome potential issues such as recall bias or communication barriers, paving the way for novel lines of research that may not otherwise be possible. This method allows us to track facial muscle movements in real time. As a result, we can obtain an objective measure of affective response in addition to self-report throughout touch stimulation. It takes time to learn how to consistently apply the electrodes properly. However, ensuring you're collecting quality data saves a lot of time afterwards during data processing and analysis. Begin by informing the participant of the electrode sensor application process in which the purpose is to measure muscle and sweat activity during the session. Then, use water to clean the participant's skin where sensors will be applied. Use an exfoliant scrub to lightly abrade the same areas. Next, apply adhesive collars to the electrode pairs consisting of two 4mm shielded bipolar recording electrodes plus one monopolar reference electrode so that they adhere to the skin. After the collars adhere to the outer rim of the electrodes, fill sensors with a conductive electrode gel, taking care to prevent the formation of air bubbles. Then, affix one electrode directly above the eyebrow along an imaginary vertical line that traverses the inner corner of the eye. Place the second electrode one centimeter lateral and slightly superior to the first, along the border of the eyebrow. For zygomatic reactivity, place the first sensor midway along an imaginary line that connects the upper ear in the corner of the mouth. Place the second electrode one centimeter medial towards the mouth and take care to avoid the masseter muscle. Next, use an 8mm unshielded...